Hi, good evening. Welcome to Transformers, the show. Tonight's one hundred and fifty. First of all, to celebrate one hundred and fifty shows, a very special guest. Welcome, Rudy. Hello, Rudy. Hello. Thanks How for having you? me back on. Oh, thanks for coming on. <laughs> the audience are very excited. <laughs> I can hear them. I can see them. <laughs> Calm down, you lot. Uh, right, Transformers the show, 150. Loads coming up. We're going to start off with the news and the Rise of the Beast trailer. Uh, before that, let's roll week deep. Hi everyone, welcome to tonight's show. We've got fucking loads coming up. We've got the Rise of the Beast trailer, loads of news. We're going to do our top. Uh, well, we're just going to do some random Transformers with crazy paint jobs. That's the foreplay. The discussion is going to be our favourite Transformer of all time. Nope. It's going to be... Completely <laughs> wrong. It's going to be the most gruesome moments in Transformers history. That's it. When Transformers goes dark. Transformers goes dark. That's going to be... To find out why you haven't done the new intro that I spent. Oh, yeah, it's weird. Do you know what? Every week I forget. And one of these weeks uh, I will remember. Uh, it won't be Probably next week. Soon. Um, so let's start off <laughs> with here. the news. I jogged some TV, and now the news. Don't touch that dial. So yesterday, Thursday, Thursday the 21st First. Oh, of December. <laughs> well, it's been a fucking long week at work. Um, 1st of December, uh, Transformers Rise of the Beast trailer came out. If you haven't seen it, we're going to play it now, and uh, then we're going to discuss it afterwards. It's actually uh, really sexy. So here it is. So Transformers Rise of the Beast trailer. want to fear, Prime. There is a darkness coming. Chill down the back of the spine. <laughs> Star Wars is the best. I love that bit Star with uh, Mirage. The best. Mm. So I guess I'll get in my car every day, like, but I don't have Mirage to park it for me, so it ends in fucking tragedy. Some boys. 
So yeah, I need to Mine does. Oh, uh, Jazz would take. Let it go. This year. <laughs> it's okay. It's bad though, isn't it? Why do they do that? It's like when they've done the Blitzwing thing in Starscream. I, uh, they've already what? done the Jazz, haven't they? They killed the him in the movie G. universe, so they didn't. Uh, they didn't want to bring him back. Maybe I don't know. Uh, so did anyone get chills down the spine when they watched that? Like hairs on end? Uh, not quite. I did find it interesting though how when he said past and future, so there's obviously time travel involved. That's yeah, why we like that. that. Yeah. That's about so, it's all multiverses now, isn't it? Mm. Multiverses, in, in it, <laughs> in it, in it. Um, I didn't get chills, Jeez. but um, I'm way more excited about this than I was for the Bayverse. Mm. Yeah. Welcome, welcome to the Ghetto Verse. What about that bit where it was they're making Mirage, the Porsche 911, the star? I think. Yeah, it looks like it from the trailer a bit, doesn't it? Mm. But you don't see any villains. Not really. No, well, you, you do. Um, um, which we, which uh, we we have some screen grabs for the news that um, that actually show at least. I mean, like in, now. Do you want to go in? Why don't you go yeah, into no, that, Andy? It. Go on then, Andy. You go into that, and then we can uh, talk over you. Then instead now, as long as it's just talking, that's fine. <laughs> oh, you wish. <laughs> right. Oh, it's, it's on, isn't it? Uh, so it's just stills that um, uh, have been shared on some of the websites from the film. So it literally is from the, the trailer in order. So the visual effects are wicked. Mm, they do. Yeah. Like, if you think about Transformers was 2007, and like that looked good, yeah. we're now in the realms of high VFX. See, I'm not obviously Off a, a Beast Wars fan. This part was awful with the water. <laughs> I'm not a Beast Wars of, fan. In terms of VFX. I'm not a Beast Wars fan, so what's... what's uh, like, can you see the chat poll? What, what's like people's opinions of the design of Optimus Primal? Uh, well, for instance, guys, let us know in the chat what you think of the design of Optimus Prime. Because there's some debate. I think in some scenes he looks really cool, and some scenes he looks a little bit odd. Um, yeah. he's that I mean, it's not coming out till June. It's yeah. going to be subject to probably heavy retooling. Oh, yeah, actually, it's, it's got to go through post production, hasn't it? Yeah. I actually thought the Optimus Prime animation, CG animation, didn't look as good as usual. So I wondered oh. if that's because it was not quite as finished. Yeah. But maybe that's. Maybe that's just my. I liked the bit where it was the um, kind of Avengers Endgame bit where they were running towards each other. Yeah, the battlefield. That battle. kind of like looked like the future or something because it didn't look like Earth. And you think of what Transformers you can see there. I just hope they don't pull away from anything big like, oh, we won't touch Unicorn, we won't touch Megatron. We'll keep it to a small story. I hope they go epic with this. If they're going to go into futures and past and stuff and time travel, then I'd want them to just to fucking get Galvatron on. Do you want them to do like a bit of a, a bit of the vengeance sort of like, this is the first of many plot lines that will then tail into a lot more massive. That would be cool. In, in the end. So you've uh, got yeah. Transformers, GoBots, My Little Pony, bit of Care Bears, fucking bring it all together. And then just have one massive loop sesh. <laughs> loop sesh. What do you call it? I mean, yeah, see, I, I'm not into the Beast Wars stuff, and yet I, I think I'm more excited about, about the look of some of the Beast Wars bots than I am about the, the regular ones. And I don't that's, know if that's just because it's def- different. Well, that's where I'm at. I'm, I'm way more excited about the Beast than I am the Transformers. I mean, the cheat, yeah. the Cheetor there looks awesome. And in that uh, endgame type final battle, you see their bot modes a bit more. Um, that bit's cool. Yeah, that's Air Razor, I assume, is it? Blasting hell out mm-hmm. of that bridge. And I think that's yeah. Prime, by the looks of it, running along to try and cross it. So it'll be really maybe interesting to see how they do it. Maybe it's because we've had, for me, it's we've had so many robots and cars and planes that it's exciting to see beasts once again. And we've got a VW camper van who is wheeljack in this. Um, and RC just <laughs> yeah. RC looked amazing. Yeah, I thought. that, that's oh, a like, shot, that was the, probably one of the yeah. highlights. Do you reckon this is going to be like the uh, misog- misogynistic relationship that we always wanted from the uh, '86 movie? Finally, now it's coming to life. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I literally don't know. That's that's my house, no. then. <laughs> anyway, there's RC. My, my wife was looking forward to. Uh, Optimus Primal again, looking slightly blurry. There you go. There's Scourge, who supposedly is the big bad of the film. Uh, and that's the bit where he impales Bumblebee. So we don't really know the build up to it. It looks like it's on Earth. So I don't think it's a flashback. And um, who is Scourge? For, cause I'm not as clued up as you guys. He's going to be the truck, isn't he? The, yeah. The, I thought he was um, evil Optimus Prime. Well, no, Scourge, the Scourge, there's a Scourge character 
that has become kind of over time just it's Nemesis Prime, but also Scourge. They, they kind of retroactively decided that they are the same character. But um, in this, he's got the name, but we don't know exactly. He, he's obviously evil, but I don't think he's got anything to do with Prime particularly. Well, because well, I... isn't he the leader of the Terracons? I think that's what they're called, and it's Terracons, Predacons, and Autobots, so I'm okay. not even sure if we've got Decepticons. Scourge so, 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 so was an R.I.D., the, 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 the clone yeah. of the Prime. But Scourge, obviously, going back further, is obviously Scourge from G1. Now, Scourge in this is someone completely different again, isn't he? Like you said, yeah, he's yeah. going to be a leader of his own. So, so there's Prime, Wheeljack, RC, and uh, Mirage there. Mirage from the back looks awesome. Like If you could get your third-party companies to do that. So they look like really cool. this is my take on it. They look really slender. Yeah, they've gone I know for that, that slender aesthetic, I suppose. Come back, come back, come back, please. But it could be because it's a, a wide shot, but uh, Mirage and Prime look slender. Mm. Mm. It's a velt. Svelte in Where the are they walking to? There's nothing there. There's a city beyond, isn't there? Uh, there's Rhinox with his tongue. A bit of rhino tongue going on there for those of you who are a fan of that. Doesn't that give him like um, a sore throat every time he shoots something out of it? Like if he's, if it's, you know. <laughs> yes, I'm sure it does. He has to have uh, a. Um... Optimus Prime has a face again instead of just a face mask. So in the Bumblebee film, he just had a face mask, a faceplate. And now they've gone back to more the Bayverse movie style of him actually having a mouth and then the faceplate. That's because in Bumblebee Prime, though. Bumblebee spits when he talks, so Prime's like, I don't want to hear that. Because like, he always was just like, mouthing off in, in that one. <laughs> anyway, there's Prime G1 looking pissed aesthetic, off. Isn't it? And then we've got that battle scene, so that's uh, Prime and Cheeto next to him in robot mode, charging into battle again. Yeah, there's loads of robots there, isn't there? Yeah. There's actually I a hope lot they're not more really, They will be, won't they? They'll be really generic. I didn't know whether to download all of them because there's so many and there's some really random looking oh, ones. Like somebody pointed out some ones in the background oh, that look oh, oh. Terminator style. Oh, <laughs> just skeleton a Terminator. Yeah. And that's, that's they... Battle Trap, isn't it? That's the one that mm -hmm. we've seen the toy of revealed already. So that's Battle Trap going into battle the against uh, Optimus Primal. But, um, yeah. I, I haven't seen much negative reaction to it yet. I don't know if any of you have. But I, I'm I'm cautiously optimistic, but I, I as I've said on the social media, I have been fooled before. So I'm I'm going into it hopeful, but I'm not. It's the best thing ever. Yeah, and then that me too. Shot of RC. I think it's cool, doesn't it? It's good so far. If it's got a good it story, like it'll be I fun. Think... Yeah. What does RC kind of transform want. into? It's got well, a bike. Think, think. Yeah, looking, but judging it's by one the legs, it's got. I think it's the G-Wiz. I think it's the G-Wiz. The G-Wiz? Looking, looking at the shape of the um, the bonnet there. It definitely looks like a G-Wiz. Of course you are. We know why you're looking at the shape of the bonnet. So I say, it's not, <laughs> well, is that a motorbike or is it going to be some... She had uh, in the trailer, there's a bit where she's got the wheels on her feet. Um, so she's using them like skates, a bit like, was it Sideswipe did something similar in the yeah. Bayverse films? Does that look like a car bonnet? Exactly. It does, doesn't it? See, there's nothing mm. bike. And now you're rubbing with a hand. <laughs> but the wheels, the wheels look like motorbike wheels. They don't look like a car's wheels. Or the wheel yeah, that you I'll can give see. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. It look like bike wheels. And just because of the size, of it, it doesn't look particularly large. It could be a trike. In fact, if you go back a little bit to that picture of them walking across the field. I don't know. She's about twice the size of the humans there. You can see two wheels on the yeah, back there. Yeah, just two wheels. It just doesn't look... I look, don't know what part of the bike Mirage. that is. Uh, Mirage has got two wheels. Look, look at Mirage though. He's the same. They're the same as Mirage. No, he's got four right? wheels. Yeah, he's got four, mate. Yeah. Two uh, down here, two at the top. Okay. Yeah, I thought they were those you know, nice calves. <laughs> All about you the car. You in there. <laughs> anyway, so, there it is. He was excited. That's the easiest way of doing it. He was actually feeling excited about this. Yeah. Me. Yeah, me. Yeah. Good. All of us. That's good. Looking forward to taking my kid to see it. They're not. <laughs> uh, we've got and also had uh, some more reveals of uh, upcoming Transformers uh, Legacy figures, but apparently these are due 2024. So you've got a leader G2 Grimlock. Sorry, not this. It's just the chat. You've got <laughs> the, uh, oh, my, oh, great X Girls Y X Y Z is back in. In in our city. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, uh, Legacy Universe Leader Beast Wars Tiger Hawk. Nice short name there. Uh, Legacy Universe Leader G1 Sandstorm. Lots of people asking about that. Why is Sandstorm going to be a leader? People are just assuming you're going to get loads of accessories with him. I, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? <laughs> the prize goes up. <laughs> Always. Um, yeah. Was it was it Astro Trainer Leader class? Uh, he was, yeah, and the, they they kind of justified that with the um, the tender that came with it that transformed into a little kind of was it a rocket based thing? I don't know. I didn't buy the talk. Do you reckon um, they give you like a little bag of sand to go with him? <laughs> yeah, that's all it is. It's a small bag of smoke that you can. <coughs> uh, Legacy Evolution Leader Optimus. Uh, we've got animated Optimus Prime Voyager uh, Voyager size or Voyager class because it's not a size anymore, is it? It's more about the parts count. Uh, Voyager that, Transformers which, which, Prime Thundertron, which I'm quite excited about because I liked the toy of that from the original uh, Transformers Prime. Well, it was never in the cartoon, but it was in the toy line. Uh, Voyager Cybertron point. Starscream, which I don't know. I'm hoping that's going to be Starscream from Transformers Cybertron, the design of him, because I really like that figure and that uh, design. Mm. And then Voyager Beast Wars Silverbolt, which I'll be quite interested to see because I was thinking about picking up one of the vintage ones of those. So I might hold off now until what 2024. What is the, um, the capsule? What does that allude to? Uh, so, where we Generations like, Legacy Capsule Grimlock. Leader Class. Oh, Capsule Leader Grandmock. We don't. I don't think we know yet. Yeah. Um, I was wondering, like, when I saw that the other day, I was just like, are they going to take Studio Series Grimlock and do it blue? And there's like, well, and Capsule well, is the maybe. code word. Yeah, could be. Would could they be. do that? Yeah. Well, I would imagine that's what we're going to get. Because I'd be all over it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's, that's something to look forward to in 2024. Now, this is... Alexis, <laughs> do you want to explain this? Because... Uh, yeah. <laughs> because, you know, I, 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 yeah, I almost didn't put this in. <laughs> just because it's this eBay seller. And I, we don't know this eBay seller, do we? I don't have no idea. Like I've seen it on a few groups, right? It's basically the thing's not even rele released yet. And there's already a third party kit to cover up the gaps in one of the box. It's you're paying how much for a figure, and then there's, there's a gap for the kit already. Uh, at least with the one which you can get with Unicron, it means you have two different modes. That's different. The third party kit, but it's uh, basically a gap for the kit for Victory Saber. So if you're not happy with Victory Saber. And you about the gaps which are in the the mini robot, then you can do something about it. Apparently, I'm sure there'll be other kits as well. You know, if one if there's one kit around, DNA Designs always do a kit, right? They're a little bit late to the game sometimes, but DNA always do one. So if you don't want one which is created by a 3D printed person, which I think this probably potentially might be, um, someone it must be someone who has access to the figure though. To be able to yeah, be able that's to like, how did they get the dimensions to make sure it's exactly a right? Yeah. So it sounds like someone's got an inside scoop here, but normally DNA or someone else will do one of these kits as well. So TF Safari, keep your eyes Rohan's just Safari. said that Sweet Mall, who's uh, whose eBay site this is, is a big seller in Japan, so kind of a big deal, kind of a big deal. Kind of a big deal. Uh, anyway, we move on. I just giggled because it's an extra 20 quid on something which is already like near 200 quid, so. Oh, look at that shiny goodness. This looks really good, actually. This, yeah. actually looks, yeah, this, this is the um, updated um, paint that job. has broke. And it actually genuinely looks Once. really good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 actually, I'm actually surprised that it's come from Hasbro. Genuinely. Like, it's really good. I hadn't actually backed this, and then I watched that live stream. Well, I didn't watch it live. I watched it later in the evening. And, uh, and I turned around to Claire and said, you know what? I am going to back this. I'm going to have to, because I'm going to feel gutted if I miss out on this one as well. And, uh, Claire, just, Claire turned around and said, "You've already backed it," and I, I said, "What?" And she she'd <laughs> already gone on and backed it under my name. Oh. So, <laughs> so nice. there you go. Well, she's a keeper. <laughs> she should be. I married her. But you know, is it um is it still available <laughs> if people want to buy it? Or is it is it? Yeah, is yeah, it, they've got till yeah, it's still going. And, uh, oh, what's the date that it, it cuts out? Is it like the thirteenth of December? Twelfth, like maybe thirteenth. Yeah, yeah, it's around we'll that. Out. There's plenty of time. Paul will deliver the knowledge to us. Um, but yeah, it, the, these colour uh, prototypes of it look fantastic. There's not as much, there's not as many five like, mil ports as those as it normally is, which is good. It's a good thing. Like it seems like there's. I the think right the thing is they showed. Basically. Didn't they show him next to Victory, uh, Victory Saber, which is the combined mm -hmm. Star Saber, and they were they were the same size. So the difference here is you are getting one bigger, chunkier bot, and they were saying about how. 
solid it all feels and everything, even as a, a this kind of not prototype yeah. stage. I you, have to, but... you do have to remember though that Victory Saber is fucking tiny. He's he's smaller than Jetfire, so he's he is Diddy. Like, yeah, what? not in his combined yeah. mode though, but big robot chicken. That's what we're all about. Ten days until it finishes. It's up to thirteen thousand. If That's those coming. are the colours, though, like they've absolutely nailed the blue. Ooh. Yeah, the blue is excellent. The blue looks just like the the show. It goes really they well say some gold. parts are going to be diecast as well. Was it on the chest? The actual, the two uh, kind of wing horn things on the chest. That's the pretty cool. Breast breast mark, diecast. That's probably breast, a smart breast, move. Breast actually, line and breast the... eagle. Breast line and breast eagle. I think they're called. Basically you've got the. Uh, yeah, the, you've got the disturbing chair from that apparently is from his uh, his his. Uh, spacecraft room. yeah and it does it just looks really good and if you can afford to back it you you've surely you've got to haven't you yeah, it's got a nice sword there i'm i'm gutted i i haven't backed it like i'm not in a position to back it now tier two Ooh, is uh, if it gets to seventeen thousand. so it need another uh, five thousand yeah, backers I, yeah, to get the chair. I, I, I rate this okay so cars and table i think this looks good I don't think Haslab, the um, Star Saber looks great. I think that Star Saber looks very, very chuggish. Like, in the sense of it doesn't look like they've up the game. Here, genuinely, it looks like they're up in the game a little bit. But it's a shame that the Star... I don't know if it's, I mean, there's, the Star Saber has yeah, QC issues and you know, the gap for <laughs> the kits. It's just... It's like... It's like... It doesn't feel as strong as this, this one. This one looks, you know... <laughs> I'm tempted to back this one, but it's like... I, I, I just... Yeah. I wouldn't... I wouldn't, just I wouldn't, back I wouldn't, it. I wouldn't I would appreciate it. I'd just sell it. Yeah, but you do that with oh. lots of things. Uh, we've some, yeah. had some in-hand photos. Um, is this Victory Leo or something like that? What's yeah, his name Leo again? Convoy from Beast Wars. Leo Wall, Convoy, there you go. Uh, two. Beast That's Wars it. Neo. And him and Tarn, somebody's got them in hand. Oh, we've just got a few more. Photos showing off he's, the... He's a sad lion. Toys. He is oh, a sad, I do like he is him, a sad lion, isn't he? He's a cowardly lion. There we go. He needs to, he needs to find a scarecrow and a tin man. Ironically, you think he would be the Tim Man, but that, I was going to say that's I, not is that's not a final thing, is it? That's I can't look at that. Look at that's the matrix. Like that. That's his matrix there. Yeah, it's a it's chest cover. Yeah. Well, it's so he can breastfeed in public. And then cool. the extremely flexible Tarn. Ooh, comfy. Who's yeah? Who's looking pretty freaking awesome, to be honest. Are you a big Tarn hands. fan? I've been close hands. See, I, I am a Tarn fan, so I am biased, but. I, I didn't think Hasbro could do a version of Tarn that looks as much as tarnish as the MMC version. And this does. And mm. seems to be a bit more poseable and flexible. Well, uh, if you, and the, if you the had, MMC one's great, but this one, you know. If you had this one, if you had Tarn from MMC and Tarn from Hasbro, would you go, go from being Tarn to Torn? No. No, because that would make no sense. <laughs> Well, which, between which one to choose? Oh, oh, and the, of course, the most exciting news is the. Yeah, uh, this well, you're just, doing, well, you're just doing the impression when you wear the mask. The Optimus Primal uh, mask transforming Optimus Primal mask that has uh, all the electronics and voice oh, wow. And then that was at that point that was the first clearest picture we'd had of what Primal was going to look like in the movie. Of course, now we've got the trailer, so that's kind of usurped that. But um, there you go. There's the there's the robot it turns into and. That's what you look like brilliant. if you wear it as a mask. Can you turn into a smiling monkey? Or... No. When no, Transformers goes monkey. dark. Drumping look at that face. He's not even allowed to mould it into his flesh. Look, is the face, the robot face is smiling though. Uh, so I think that's just his like, face, it's isn't it? It's mixed messages, right? Yeah, it would be nice if it had a really cheesy grin on it, but I don't think it does. Anyway, that's all the mainline news. So, we should probably... Uh, probably Sit share back. some. Get ready. Oh. oh crap! I forgot to download it. Oh well, <laughs> never mind. Shall we move on? <laughs> Next. Is it that good? Is it? <laughs> you guys don't want to show it. That good. <laughs> okay, go on then. This is mainline, mate. What are you doing? This ain't mate, third line. you shared three photos of this, and Ooh. you never said what the fuck it was or anything. And I don't follow <laughs> masterpiece. I don't give a shit about masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, well, next time, so, actually put what it is, so then I'll know to put it in with mainline. So, anyway, um, is that mainline and that mainline, or are they both? Ah, mainline? well, here we go. Right. So what we're gonna ah, do, you liar! You if you can make, if you can make me big for a second next to the photograph, Paul, please, because it will, um, it will come. No, next to the photograph. Yeah, give me a chance. It's to take between two and six <laughs> minutes. Right. Here we go. Right. So what this is, right, is we've got. Um, I'm holding up X Transbots, their version of um, this figure, and then we've got. Uh, Takaro, which is in the middle now, which hasn't been released yet, and then you've got Fans Toys on the right. And what this just says is that Takara looks like an absolute sack of shit. It might pose well. I'm not gonna. Oh, now transform it. Go. Go. Done. Done. Oh, nice. There we go. The alternative. It's a one-step changer. That's it. That's it. All about one step. X transports one steps. So uh, again, you've got um, the uh, Fans Toys at the top, and you've got the Tune Takara looking one at the bottom there, but it just it it might have better articulation. I will say that the articulation in the fans' toys one, the shoulders are shit. That you can't you can't you can't do this, really. But this one struggles as well because it's just got big shoulders, right? He's got the pads, so but the paint job on it just looks amazing. He has so much. The, so the much one on the presence. left is remind Takara. me Takara. That's, that's their new master. That's, that's the new fast masterpiece. Fast. Yeah. The one on the left is the new masterpiece, which, which is due out. Soon. Isn't the top yeah. on there? So, Extransport um, is about is about seventy or eighty quid now. Yeah. Isn't the, that top the, picture though, Takaria? The Takara one. It's no, got Toyota. It's got, right. the, it's got the actual Toyota on it, which the fans' toys won't have because it's not licensed. But the Takara one know, is. I don't, I don't Just a quick shout out to Brandon. It's just because um, you said the still top in one was hospital. So <laughs> Brandon. <laughs> uh, sorry, the bottom one was looking crap. I don't want to focus on the back of figures, mate. <laughs> oh, you quick, really do. <laughs> quick shout out to Brandon just to say, Alexis, say, Brandon. Hope you're doing well, mate. Keep 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 fighting the good fight, sir. You're doing well. You're yeah, hi, Brandon. Hope Brandon runs doing, the mate. Iron Factory group with Alexis. And... Me. Yeah. Oh, got a new subscriber. Uh, Welcome, um, Half Day. This, yeah, you can you can put everyone else back on now. Oh, that was that's what the that's what the shirt figure next to the other figures. So it might be interesting, people. So the Takara version is about 160 quid. The fan story was about 160 quid, and the next transfer now is about 80 quid because it's a bit older. Right. right, what's this then? The um, X Transport. X, X Transports, they're releasing their um, Inquisitor. Is it Inquisitor? Yeah. Yeah, it's something like that, isn't it? Um, who's next in the uh, lineup? So, um, yeah. This would be. Um, okay. Yeah, so that I think the egg was around 100, I want to say 100 pounds, but it got reduced down to 60 quid very quickly. So you're probably looking in the region of about 100 pounds, like 90 to 100 pounds for that, but I. Um, I don't know the size of it. No one's no one's seen it yet. We haven't had any in hand photos. Davis is doing a bit of a world tour. This is the uh, Lionel Hurts like toys. Davis, uh, f the four foot Metroplex. He's in America right now, sticking his finger up at the man. Um, there might be some. I don't. I don't, I don't think I put the other photographs on, but there's. But you go online. No, you only put one on. You go on Lionel Hurts's or T Troy McCullough's toy group on Facebook. Join it, and you can see pictures of Davis and his other bots as well. And you can see him with Sunstreaker and. And will be, and the sun streak when he stands on his shoulder comes up to just the top of his uh, one of his um, red antenna. Right. So that puts it in perspective. Um, this is a wonderful world, Ronin. I think it's called Wonderful World. I think it's called Wonderful World or Beautiful World, something like that. Ronin. So it's uh, their version of Drift. Uh, it looks half. It looks actually very similar, I think, to the Flame Toys Drift, which we got on Dame Chox on Facebook. Um, He's done some pictures on that in the last week as well, so you can have a, a comparison. I didn't fancy doing that tonight. It's wonderful but. trans WTO one white Ronin. Wonderful trans white Ronin. So this is on Shozy right now for a dollar pre order, hundred bucks, hundred eight bucks. Sorry, full price. Um, it will be probably about nine pounds. It comes with a cape. Ben's Collectibles has recently just done a video, like having literally two days ago. The cape is poseable, so it looks soft, but it's actually you can actually flex it to wherever you want to be. So you can have it look, looking like it's drifting in the wind, which I thought was a very cool piece. It looks to me, and again, I'll be proven wrong, like if Drift was in the G1 original lineup rather than the IDW Verkan Drift. So it looks like the love child of the DeLorean and Trax. Looks cool. And that love child sounds cool as well. <laughs> I would pay for that. <laughs> I'd pay for, to watch that be inseminated. <laughs> so we've That's now cool. got Flame Toys do their their model kits, um, which I think are very good for the value. And lots of fun. If you like, if you liked like Lego, if you like Warhammer, Damn. then you can buy one of these. This is their uh, 
Shat not Shattered Glass, it's the Lost, Lost Light, Light version, Rodimus. Lost Light version of Rodimus. So it stands at about four and a half inches. Ever so slightly shorter than the um MMC version, but it does fit in quite nicely with your IDW MMC if you wanted just a poseable figure in that collection. Did you just say well, if you like Warhammer and Lego, you'll like yeah. this? Cause <laughs> yeah, because it, it's like a nice it's a model kit that you build. That's like saying if you, you like, like model, Detox you and like bricks, this. you'll love this. Yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> if you like shreddies and Tuesday the fifth of June, you will love this. If you like one step changes <laughs> and chug, you uh, might not. So. Oh dear. Anyway. And then do the Megatron as well. Yeah. And again, it's from the Lost Light. Um... There's about there's about so we're, we're, I remember I've got the Bumblebee for me to put together. Um, there's about 200 steps to putting these things together. They, just, they clip in and stuff, and there's like little rubber balls and things for the joints and. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're cool little, they're cool little things. Can I, uh, can I just say the yeah, most important? Yes, news, you have to about I, 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 I don't know if you, I don't know if we. Yeah, sorry, I apologise if we were going to be doing this later on. But surely the most important news of this weekend has to be uh, the birth, the birthday of uh, Emma, Pete's wife, who may may well be watching. And it's not actually we... her birthday. She's been alive for like well over thirty. She's not just been born. Like Pete hasn't. Oh, she, you mean she's not been born today? It's not her oh, day of like, birth. No. It's her birthday. I mean, I was wondering why they were married. No, he's not. No, no, Pete's no. not married no. to a naught-year-old. No, he did, he no, did say to her that she was promised to him at birth. Oh, um, right, right. That's, that's it. it. Not her. That must it, be what it... It's not. It's not. She's. She's not a new child. She's. No. I think she's like. She's like his third wife or something like that. So, but what is it's she, her birthday today. How old is she again? Uh, <laughs> I think she's, uh, you know, uh, I'm joking. A, age I'm is a number, really. You know, I'm not going to go there. Uh, age is a number. I know that next time I Maybe see Time is a doorway. 51 <laughs> feet when she sees this. Pizza a pussy cat, luckily, but she'll kill me. Well, happy birthday, Emma, anyway. Happy I hope you, uh, you're you enjoying the show. There we go. Somebody has to be. Right. Anyway. And that's it. That's the news. And it was cool. Long. Cool. It was long, wasn't it? Uh, what's next? Let's do pickups. Pickups. We now return to the Transformers. You thought the news was long. <laughs> oh no! Don't do ages pickups. Uh, it, it, only, only actual bots. Literally, it, <laughs> is he frozen for everyone? Or just, oh, good. He's back. You froze in this. Look. Um, right, do you want to go first, Alexis? Go ahead, get no. out of the way. Uh, no, go, no, 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 you go. go. You go first. You go. Uh... I need to put my car in for MOT, so... <laughs> <laughs> I need to go do get, my taxes. Give me um, some time to you do, do it. I wanna, so what I'll do, I'll, I'll show the boxes. If there's one specific one that people like, I will unbox it at the end when everyone's done talking. So, how's that? Oh, Jamie's not here. Sorry, fuck. I forgot to say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie is out on the night out. Um... <laughs> Near his house, so uh, he's <laughs> doing real adulting things for a night. Yeah. He's rented a limo and everything. He did. He did. <laughs> he's gone he to prom. He, he bought mainly the corsage. <laughs> yeah, he's rented one of them limousine Humvees. That's it. <laughs> he, bought, he bought a corsage. Classy. Got karaoke and, in it and um, everything. Yeah. <laughs> he's looking forward to that. So. Uh, oh, is that a different one? It's a new one. Find yourself hot. Ooh. But I like it that RJ hey, straight away was like, hey, guys, spam in the chat. Is it spam if it's about it's sexy really sex important. girls? <laughs> really important. Sure for this spam. A... And it's really, I've, oh, I've Emma said it's, thank you. It's really one-sided though. Happy You're welcome, Emma. What if you want to meet hot boys? Like, you know, there's no, there's no know. diversity there. There's no diversity there. So what about diversity? Ridiculous. He's having right. it large. Hot non-binaries. Anyway. I'll be up for a bit of that tonight. <laughs> you say uh, half, half non-binaries? Well, funny see you say half non-binaries. I've got that was a, a tenuous half. link. I've got a huff for you. I've got a huff for you. Don't, don't get the huff for me. I'm going to get the huff for you. Here we go. <laughs> so, uh, and look, Paul, he might have VHS in truck mode. You don't know. You won't Fans know that until I get out of the box. We know he's got VHS. We saw the photos of that before it was released. We do know he's got visible hands. We looked at the photos. You were there. He's a good looking bot, though. He's a good looking bot. So I've got that from my factory. That's numero uno. But in fact, it's all about the robot mode, don't they? They don't give that much of a fuck about the old mode. You, aren't they? So, yes, no so hang on, you'll forgive that. But no, I don't. I don't, don't forgive it. It's still rubbish. <laughs> but, um, I love the way your mood suddenly dark. No, no, I don't forgive it. <laughs> I mean, Paul Farrell, he goes dark. <laughs> they won There's your real IDW, dark Transformers, really. They won good. I did the IDW made um, figure 
that looked good in robot mode and in, and in alt mode. One. <laughs> Oh, Gav just wrote something really po- um, romantic about Jamie. <laughs> I just seen the Gav's comments. <laughs> Jamie smashed more pasties than that time Hulk worked at Greg's. <laughs> oh, oh still borders, dude. Still borders, dude. I have got a uh, magnet in the house. I've got an extra ooh. round of magnet. I think going by mind. the comments online, everyone was saying who was getting it, oh, it's not as good as MP22. Uh, all right, you can give it. Give Robo, it to, uh, Robo's oh, better. Exactly. It's cleaner. The engineering's clever because the whole truck fits inside him. The transformation's a bitch. Someone said that I remember someone put on the on one of the groups. It took them two hours to actually the transform whole truck it. Fits inside MP22. What? No, it's it's no. Well, it's not. You're right. You separate the you're, truck. You're definitely right there. Uh, I think it's got it's got it's overall got a better aesthetic overall, and the eyes light up, and he's and he actually has a voice box in there as well. Oh, you moved uh, on from that truck. More poseable. He has a better accessory. It's, it's, the, the downside is the transformation. That's it. And the materials will, over time might not last as well as Takara. That's just how it looks. Extransbox is notorious. Um, <laughs> Good point, Ed. To go, <laughs> to go with... Um, from Bubble Jumper. <laughs> to, go, to, go, to go with... Oh, I've got two things in there. What's that one? Uh, oh, score. Uh, I've got the Inferno from New Age. So... The cool. ladder collapses inside of him. So, looking forward to showing his photographs of his back. I'm going to get out of the box. Oh, that's you know the what? bit you look forward to. Oh. I really like boys to men. I do. <laughs> and then um, we've got. I was uh, listening to Alexis ages so, ago, and I'm just jo- I was gonna enjoying say, boys to men. Got, you, didn't, um, you didn't like it before you came on. on. <laughs> great. Uh, a little Whist. hitch. Whist. 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 And he, uh, he go with his, uh, his brothers there, so he's got. Trailbreaker there, and then you've got a bit of a Mirage who's out, and Jazz is the next one's come out, so J- who will they call him Jive? So we've got a Whist, so we've got him. We're getting there! <laughs> oh, don't get Sifa Dark Man. We're, 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 nearly down, we're nearly down, we're nearly finished with box Gosh. one of two. Shit. Sorry, they all came at once. <laughs> Jesus, like, Jesus. Like, no, you got six to me. Hang on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lads, 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 lads. <laughs> uh, well, one thing I'm not glorious going to take the high dive. I won't take the high dive tonight because I've got the high dive right here. What does that mean? I'm going to take the high dive tonight. <laughs> that doesn't mean it's not even a save. You can't it's make a cliche second. up and pretend second, it's a cliche. Yeah. That's the the second Stop trying to make sense. Uh, <laughs> the first one, the first, so this is the sort of real life I'm looking error box. I don't know. What does that even mean? Sky so, this, oh. this, this, the first one is one of the best articulated bots in the world. <laughs> you You've see. got the other one, this haven't one, you? This one, I've got the other one. There's two been released so far. This one, not so much, I hear, but we'll see. <sighs> but um, the first one was really good. So um, I really like the first one. So I've got the second one of those. Oh, dear. Oh. This is part of the same. So this is. Um, oh yeah, scissors for this one because it's not the actual box. This is the box in whatever is in here. So how much do you think your MOT is going to cost you? <laughs> <laughs> or any existing issues that might cause you? Uh, Fucking time to do it myself at this rate. Right, <laughs> Kang toys, Frilla, and then the foot that goes with Frilla. So mon- so monkey crutch. The cold Resilius. I'm just guessing. He's, the penul- he's heavy as well. He's the penult- penultimate version of, uh, which goes with the Predator King. So, um, so Predator King is the complete from Kang Toys. He's the, yeah, second to last one of those. All right, box two. We haven't had a good Bruticus in a while, I don't think. What was the last good Bruticus that came out? Was it that Oculus Max one? Did they? Oh do yeah. One? Was that oh, MMC? He was big, wasn't he? I've never seen him. Ian's got that one, hasn't he? Arrowfire. Yes, yeah. sure he has. He did a review, didn't he? I, I, can't, I can't be dreaming that. I've watched it. If I did, what a vivid dream. Alexis has got him in the background, but he's like he's got like the helicopter's the arm. And it's pointing out the tank is on the side. Do you see? Oh yeah, yeah. There he is. He's punching the ground, isn't he? Uh, yeah, he is. Oh, there you oh, go. Yeah, see, see? Yeah, the chair was in the way. I was like, no, how has he got that configured? Is that M- yeah? I was. That's the helicopter massive, got a... that, isn't it? Is that MMC? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I'm kind of busy, guys, opening up. Leave me alone. You want to see right. toys? These are my fucking toys. <laughs> you want the pickups? The the, these are all the same. These are all the same, so I'll just do one. Oh, Arafat's right. got the Z2 yeah. one. There we go. Let's do one. Oh, one. yeah, this is over there somewhere. Right, this is... Uh, I like combined all. Just throw it out. I don't. There you go. I like combined all. This is no, 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 no. KO. I don't hate your photo, Rudy. KO oversized Shartacons. Masterpiece scale Shartacons. Ripped off the off chug the... version. Yeah, ripped them yeah. off. And then they're massive. So I've got nine of them. So. You've got well those are presents for you. It's like fucking Christmas. Like I'd be if I had all of that today, I'd be Hang like, on, oh, you, I'm not going to work. You've got nine of them. Is that just how many's in that box? Three. Do you want to see? Is this the one you want to see? You may as well. We're, we're here now. <laughs> I feel with. I feel we've gone too deep. We may as well just go. Well, I'm waiting for the mechanic to call Paul. <laughs> <laughs> just needs new tires, mate. Yeah. Forty well, quid each. Hey, guys, like <laughs> you know me. Oh, mate, Honest, not the days long. For a cash guy. <laughs> no chance. I'll show <laughs> him again. I'll show him against your hot rod, so you can see the scale difference. I've oh. ordered the new car this week. You have company. Yeah. Oh, well, you there won't you be go. paid for your MOT, will you? If it's company. I've already got my MOT. Uh, passed ah. that ages ago. How's that? Let's go. <laughs> Completed it, Good mate. Good news, Rudy. He's passed his MOT. Uh, shotgun's too big. Does it look work better with Masterpiece? Well, yeah, that's the whole point, right? Well, then why are you showing it with a chug figure? Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a cat with me. <laughs> You've got a thousand. You've literally got a thousand masterpiece bots around you. You couldn't just grab one of them. There you go. Uh, right, lovely. That's a car. Same size as hot rod. <laughs> Sorry, I just read C for Darkman's last comment. Oh. It's a nightmare when that happens, isn't it? Are you done now? Yeah, no, I just dropped Starscream oh, right. in the crown. I didn't want to go. I didn't want to go a bit like Galvatron. So this thing's run over. Right, that's it. I'm done. Uh, what what is this? <laughs> I can have a, I can have a stick of tweak if you want. Have a look around. Say anything else? A slight, a light tweak. <laughs> you say it's a light tweak. Oh, a light head tweak. killing it right there. Jesus Christ. Rudy, did you get anything this week? Uh, um. Uh, yes. Obviously, you've invited me over onto your show. So this is my chance to not talk about Transformers. So are you ready for a 1990s overload of action figures? Yes, let's it. do it. God damn it. So we have got... I want to show off the box because the box is ridiculously good. We have got... <gasps> Samurai Pizza Cats. Yeah, Guido Anchovy from Samurai Pizza Cats. Who comes in a giant box. It's a big box and... compared to his size. It comes with his mecha because there was about 12 episodes shown on um, ITV in the early 90s, but there's like 40 odd episodes and they all turn into mechas at the end of like the series. It's huh. ridiculously good. But it comes with a tray full of like 100 accessories. Fucking hell. Jesus. But I've just not had the time to look at it properly, but it's he's my favourite character from the show. Can you remember the theme tune? Of course. Samurai Pizza Cats. I thoroughly enjoy Sam uh, thoroughly enjoy thoroughly enjoy Samurai Pizza Cats. <laughs> it's a very good show. Nineties continues, so I got this the other day with everyone's favourite badass mutant from the nineteen nineties cartoon apocalypse sweet nice so that's a that's a big boy and then because it's all about getting dark we have got bronx from gargoyles, gargoyles. yeah i just got this the other day are you still collecting those then now well, you've got um goliath. <clears throat> basically uh, i'm out yeah Gol these are the only two i want goliath and um, Bronx because he comes with a set of wings so I can actually display Goliath because he's too the wingspan's too big and I have nowhere to display him so I can display him with You can also put wings on your erect cock like and treat yourself. <laughs> no. 
tree so. yourself. Absolutely yeah. not. Nothing like a, everyone wants to have a wing cock, right? Uh, it won't fit. It won't fit, uh, uh, Alexis. Just it's fine. It, don't push on this. Isn't, isn't the figure inch, six inches? That'll fit. No. Oh. Cut off the blood circulation for poor Rudy. No. Be. no, no, no. <laughs> so yeah, that was my deep dive into all things 1990s. Oh, they're beautiful pickups. I only got one pickup this week, so I'll quickly go. I got the USS Enterprise oh. 1701F. Oh, the F. The library version, so not the Star Trek Online version, although it's identical apart from, obviously, the paint job. Uh, and this is now canon, really? because if you've seen the trailer to Picard, uh, the this version, which was really shown in the uh, online game only, so it wasn't really canon, uh, was shown in the background on the Picard trailer for the next season. So Ooh. it is absolutely canon now. I've got three of them in different paint modes. So, um, is that what the F stands for? Me. Like, the, is that what the colours? I mean, uh, it stands for F. Because <laughs> there's the A. Well, there's the one with no letter. Then there's the A. Then there's the A refit. The B, the C, the D, the E, the F. There's a G. You know, like in the front. alphabet. <laughs> you know, like spelling. Yeah, yeah, do you know about start, spelling? It puts the fun in the Star Trek. <laughs> Oh yeah. dear. Close, close, but this oh, I'm too far away from the laughter reel. Okay, cool. Andy, what did you get? Yeah, me? I only got one thing. I should have had more. As we were discussing pre show, uh, the postal strikes are, uh, uh, well, oh, yeah. partly the postal strikes and partly the fact DPD seems to be shit. But anyway, um, just one thing's arrived, which is uh, a nice uh, prime universe bulkhead, but it's the one in, with, the, with the actual nice colors. I haven't even opened it yet because literally. I, I opened the box that this was in five minutes before coming on. Um, and I had the first, I had the uh, Legacy bulkhead, and don't get me wrong, it was a good figure, but I just found it a bit dull. I didn't feel like it had much character to it. And it's amazing what a paint job can do for a figure. Um, so I decided to pick this one up. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing that's arrived. The other stuff, unfortunately, is somewhere in limbo waiting for me. God, I love the Royal Mail. Do you know what, though? I don't, I don't. I, I'll say this now, I don't begrudge me. I have got a friend who works for Royal Mail, so I totally understand why they're doing it. But they just, it is annoying because I've got my son's birthday coming up, and a lot of the gifts that we've ordered for him, we've ordered online, and even going far as back as a couple of weeks ago when they were ordered, and they've still not arrived yet. Yeah, and I'm in exactly the same position. It's just frustrating a little bit. I I, I support the the ride they're doing it, but it's like they they had a two day strike last week and another two day strike this week, and it's. I don't know. I, don't, I worry they're going to start alienating the people they want to kind of support. They are strike. hiring temps though to um, deliver on Sundays. Yeah, yeah, we've I've, we've in seen local some areas. On yeah, which but, is good, um, but it hasn't done me any favors. Yeah, well, this is it. Well, because so, you know, three nineteen nineties toys is not enough for me. It's not <laughs> enough. <laughs> I mean, think of poor. Has anybody thought of poor Alexis? He only got the twelve things this week. I mean, what the hell? Like is he, where's the other? Yeah, but yeah, but that cost me one. Twenty-seven. That, that, that was one postal postage, whatever surcharge. That's why. I did, that's what, that's what, that's what, yeah, I let it build yeah, up. Said. I let it build up. And plus, they they you know a mega lot use DVD, DPDs. That's fine. Well, tell them to sort DPD the fuck out because they tried. Sure, my, 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 it's my DPD wife. Hermes. Every they're picking up more parcels from Royal oh, God, Mail, not, not which is every. why they're all fucked. Although actually, I see I can't complain that much about every because we're around where I live. The every delivery people are actually pretty good. Yeah, we so, have we have the every the Hermes are, driver. Probably. We have a WhatsApp group for where we live with all the houses, and the every and the Hermes driver are both in the WhatsApp group. And they text you when they're coming around. Yeah, I think if you've got oh decent ones, you're fine. Yeah. But do you think they're doing it? Is that what happens, Paul? Just, I'm just coming around to the 40s. Paul's like, I'm not it's in. It's always when I'm out and my wife's in. And always exactly. like, we're coming around now. I'm not seeing you, mate. I'm not seeing you, mate. Yeah. And my wife's like, oh, brilliant. Really like, oh, I always, it's weird. <laughs> my wife always texts when she's in. She says, oh, I'm in between these hours. Special um, delivery. Yeah. Cool. Right. Uh, <laughs> let's do Rohan's Corner, which Alexis gives you chance to go and select your four player. Yeah? I've done Remember? it. I did it before. Oh, okay, fuck you then. <laughs> <laughs> Just being nice. Rohan? Uh, here he is. Right, it's now time for the man they call Rohan, 
Uh, we have a very special episode, and thank you so much, Rohan, because um, you always work so hard at this. It's now time for Rohan. Rohan! Rohan. Rohan's Corner, working overtime, recording fine, that's just prime. Super reviews, which will neutralize Hasbro's wave of crimes. Magic Square to the rescue, and New Age has got such super. Super paint work. Ro, 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 ro. Han is the mighty power that can save the day. Ro, 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 ro. Han, no one knows what lies behind his wall of fame. Ro, 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 ro. Han, always riding hard on Hasbro's trail. Come see the memes he plays every Friday. Thank you, my friends. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the corner of Rohan with me, your host, and of course, Slumblebee. This week on the show, B and I decided to have a look at our fan mail. All those thousands of you who write in every week saying how great the show is, we had to sift through all of one message uh, to figure out what we were going to do this week. And so, our message comes from none other than. C4 Darkmane, who writes, A Rohan, love the show, a long time watcher, first time caller. See what you did there. Absolutely love your introductions and your vocals on them. Absolutely top class, unique, and nobody else does anything like that. Yeah, thanks, Drew. Really appreciate that. I mean, there's a lot of effort that goes into them. It takes hours and hours. Would you be willing to share your thoughts, along with Bumblebees, on the new Rise of the Beast trailer that's just dropped? Of course I would. Yes, thank you for writing in. And what I would like to say is, let's have a look at the Rise of the Beast trailer that has dropped recently. Obviously, the guys in the show have shown it. You've all seen it. Hopefully, everybody enjoyed it. But there are a couple of takeaways, key takeaways from my perspective that I'd like to bring up. The first and foremost being... Obviously, Rise of the Beast is supposed to be a sequel to the Bumblebee movie we had a few years ago, which means that sequel is therefore a prequel to the live action movie of Transformers 2007, because Bumblebee was a prequel to the live action 2007 movie, and this is a sequel, so it sort of sits between Bumblebee and the original 2007 live action Bayverse film. And what that means is, okay, that Bumblebee movie was set in the 80s and the live action movie was set in real day in 2007, I guess. So this is somewhere in between and we've suddenly got all these beasts have turned up. Okay, where did these beasts come from in the timeline? It makes no sense. Okay, fair enough. We haven't got enough information just yet. But maybe, just maybe, those of us who are Beast Wars connoisseurs will be thinking, aha, we're going to have a time travel theory arc coming through from the original Beast Wars storyline, because that is what the story was. The original Beast Wars Megatron traveled back in time, though a descendant of the Decepticons who had been put into slavery now in modern day Cybertron to serve the Autobots. He didn't want any part of that. He travel back in time to change history by destroying the generation one optimus prime uh, by using the golden discs and what was on them and the maximals therefore chased him to apprehend him and so are we going to get bits and pieces of that storyline where the maximals because we haven't seen the predacons have traveled back in time to earth to warn optimus prime of some uh, incoming impending doom which is what we see in that scene between that big metal monkey who it turns up at a water pool and everyone's like yeah okay um and then a big metal robot who turns up to talk to him and they have a little standoff for like five seconds and you're like yeah okay this is weird um but yeah that seems to be the dialogue that there's something big coming and we see a scene of comets falling. We don't know whether that's the Maximals or the Predacons or the Decepticons, or maybe it's some more Autobots, who knows? But there are definitely Transformers falling onto Earth in this new timeline of Rise of the Beasts. One of the biggest backlashes I've seen from all the fans out there at the moment is about the new Probod. And yes, it is ugly. Okay, he looks really wide at the top and really weird and 
gargly in the middle. And yes, the faceplate looks odd and he looks like he's got a really small head. But let's think about this. They are redesigning him once again to sell more toys because let's remember, that's what we're here for, uh, to sell toys. And ultimately, there's only so much you can do with the design, which has been done what five times already, and now they have to do it a sixth or seventh or whatever, seventh time. So yeah, okay, they've changed it. Okay, it doesn't look great. But it's Bayverse. Did you ever like the aesthetics of the Bayverse Prime in the first place? I didn't. So pff, who cares? You know, at the end of the day, it's not G1, is it? It's not War for Cybertron, and they had their chance to make that good, and they didn't. But you know, maybe it's going to be something better. I'm not going to buy the toy. Are you going to buy the toy? Does it really matter that much that Prime has a dad bod or whatever it is? One of the things that really came through to me on the trailer was there's a heck of a lot of Autobots and Maximals in this trailer. Not to mention we can see Primal, Rhinox, Cheetor, Air Razor. And then from the boss side, all the ones that have been shown are for ages and ages. And I did a video on all the characters that were showcased earlier. But it seems like ages ago I did that video. And then on the Decepticon or Terracon side, we have, what, three of them I can remember? I mean, really, I only remember Scourge and Battle Trap. That's about it. Um, so I'm hoping that the Predacons are going to show up and swell the ranks a little bit because otherwise it's going to be a mismatch. But what it does hark back to is G1 ness. In G1, if you remember, there were shed loads of Autobots and there were only a few Decepticons and most of those were just, you know, repaints of each other. Let's be honest. We had three Reflectors, we had three Seekers, we had a couple of copies of um, Cassette Boss for Soundwave and Megatron, and that was pretty much a lot. Shockwave, yeah, it was stuck on Cybertron. But ultimately, they were much, much stronger, the Decepticons, than the other bots. And, you know, remember that epic scene where, or epic monologue between Prime and Huffer, where Huffer's like, but we're not fighters, Prime. And Prime's like, shut up, Huffer, we must have courage. And they get on with it and they fight, which is cool. And so it's nice that we're seeing a little bit of that with this, at least at the moment. And speaking of all those Autobots, RC gets a heavy prevalence in the trailer. We see her many times, predominantly with Wheeljack. Hint, hint, back to Transformers the movie scenes that were cut. So hopefully not, because that would be a bit misogynistic. But certainly it seems to be they are kind of some kind of duo. And RC's doing a lot of the fighting, and we can see she's got a really g one look. She has her hair buns, she has her look from the movie, and she's doing her visor look as well, which is pretty cool. But is she going to get any story line? Is she going to get any even lines, let, let alone anything else? It's cool that she looks badass, but at the end of the day, if she doesn't get any lines, what's the point? It's just another Bayverse. Throw the bot in and throw the bot out. One of the heaviest hitters in the trailer, and one of the best points for me is the new character Mirage or Jazz or whatever you want to call him, the Porsche 911 character who has a lot of scenes in the trailer, but not just that, we get to see his power showcased where he makes holographic projections, additional projections of himself to fool a police car that's chasing him in that chasing. And it's pretty cool. And I was thinking, wait, that's that's not Mirage's power. Mirage is able to make himself invisible and then go over there. And that, that that's Hound's power. Hound has the ability to make holographic projections, although he never actually used it too much in that manner where he made the same projection of himself so to speak, or of other robots, but still, that that's more like Hound. If we think about the timeline, Jazz should be alive right now, because this is pre-2007, where he was ripped in half, and he wasn't in Bumblebee, so technically, it could still be Jazz. One of the best scenes in the trailer is where we see B has been stabbed through the torso by Scourge, and I'm thinking, yes! Finally, we're going to see the end of this annoying Bumblebee character who doesn't speak and then talks nonsense and then he's the promising little young bot coming up to be the leader. Um, but of course, uh, going back to my timeline story, uh, yeah, he's going to be alive for the next film. And we've seen in the past where he's died in the likes of World War II and then still shown up again. So unfortunately, I think we're stuck with this character that 
Hasbro love to sell toys of, so presumably he will be back again, and yeah. And the final scene in the trailer, where we see this epic coming together, this massive explosive fight between the Autobots, the Maximals, and the Terracons, what we can see of the Terracons, although they're like the three that we know about, and all of those Autobots and Maximals that I mentioned before, is really reminiscent to me of More Than Meets the Eye, the end of More Than Meets the Eye, where Optimus and the Autobots go to the Decepticons, shuttle and prime says and circle the base and they all come around and then this massive fight scene and it's awesome and mirage saves the day in tint hasbro although that's probably not going to happen here because i can't see the terracons trying to take off and go back to cybertron with a buttload of energon but at the same time it also reminds me of the epic fight on uh, the autobot city on earth on the animated transformers movie the real transformers movie where we had again that huge fight scene between the autobots and the decepticons and then at the end we had that very small segment of you know fire going from one end to the other and that kind of reminds me of this and a little bit of what war for cybertron should have been like in my opinion we see a little bit of this at the beginning of beast wars when you watch the intro of beast wars you see the coming together of the maximals and the predacons and it reminded me of that little scene there it was a bit of a easter egg for you beast wars fans out there but ultimately after all this hype after all this excitement we still have to remember this is still initially a bavis kind of film okay fair enough it's not him doing the heavy lifting but it is still the mainline film trilogy it's not really bumblebee well it is but it's classified as transformer 7 so what is it is it going to be something of its own accord or is it a mishmash or really is it the two trying to come together and so we have to be unfortunately a little bit apprehensive in my opinion to ensure that we don't get too carried away because we've seen it before right we've seen these teasers come out we've seen it look epic we've said wow and then we've been ultimately disappointed when the behemoth of a two and a half hour film with some really cheesy bits comes out and you're like yeah what was that so you know let's hold judgment it's still early days what we've seen looks great and yeah okay there are a couple of niggly bits but ultimately it could be really good maybe that end fight scene could be like the first five minutes of bumblebee on cybertron where we had that epic little battle maybe not maybe we've seen all of it maybe it's going to be a lot more bot on bot like it looks like in the trailer maybe not maybe there's going to be shed loads of stupid humans in it who knows? We shall have to see, but ultimately, it looks intriguing. And for me, at least, I'd like to hear what all of you thought about the movie. What were your positive parts? I've told you mine. What were your negatives? Right into the show. Bombard them with all your thoughts. I'm sure you will be doing that anyway. And hopefully, B and I useless man over there we'll be back next week to bore you with some more transformers or rohan's corner anywho thanks for joining me back to the studio transformers rohan's in disguise rohan thank you very 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 much for that sir that was awesome uh right going straight on to discussion yeah discussion okay. time yeah we are Okay. We are, we are, we are, we are. I'm vamping because I've lost the thing. We are. <laughs> we now return to the Transformers. Not foreplay. Oh, if you read the private chat, you would know what's going on. <laughs> uh... You write in it and then you just ignore it. <laughs> oh. discussion. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Uh, right. I knew what was going on. I mean, you secret chat that and just lets you know what's going on. <laughs> There's nothing like a private chat that gets read out live. It's actually talking. not just for you to as write you stuff. Talking. As you were talking. <laughs> right, discussion time this week. Uh, Rudy, you came up with this idea. It's a brilliant idea. The most um, horrific um, bits of Transformers when Transformers goes dark. And I've got all your examples that you sent me. Uh, I think I've got my example as well um, of when I thought Transformers went dark. But do you want to kick us off? Do you want me to turn Zelda down? Uh, and stick some of your photos up. <coughs> or not. Or not. 
I've got them here. I could post them. Do you want to put, yeah? Perfect perfect to get us removed for Christmas. Crawling through my files. Right. And I, should, I should have come more prepared. So here we go. We've got a beautiful lady ripping off her face to reveal that she is some sort of demon monster and shooting sludge in the face with laser beam eyes. So this is from the Transformers annual that I had in 1985 when I was seven years old. That's incredibly graphic for a mm. seven year old to see. Um, looking back on it though, it's an incredible story about the Dinobots. Uh, one of the best stories I've ever mm. read actually, but that's mm. horrific. That's, that's real dark for kids. Yeah. So you, you shades had, a little bit older. Had, doesn't the next panel show his, his kind of lifeless body with his mouth lolled open? And it, I believe so. I didn't grab that. So I, I should have grabbed that one as well. That, I, I remember this events. very well. Like you, this is this is fucking it, it does shit. That, that's, old, that image will stay right? with me for years and years. They're all dreaming. Go they? back to that annual yeah. until yeah. the mid. Yeah, well, they're dreaming because they're Boy in that, kind right? of, kind of they're all dreaming, right? Yeah, they're all in cut like induced comas and being fed. Yeah, from a comic book. Oh, annual nearly 35 odd years ago, but yeah. Mm. Uh, so I'll go for one of one I chose. I've got a couple. Uh, I'll do this one first. I'll go back Ironic to what we did. Like uh, was this was it fucking Zombie Impactor? So zombie Impactor. I, I just really remember getting into Impactor and uh, Emirates Aaron and that whole arc and that storyline and loving it. And then being absolutely disturbed when he got his face completely blown off, didn't he? I can't remember, was it Nightshade or something? Shot him with Decepticon, was going for Emirates Aaron but missed him. Uh, and Impactor took it straight in his face, and you saw his face like disintegrate, and that was horrific enough. And I kind of forgot him, about him for a couple of episodes or a couple of comics issues, and then he fucking comes back in Springer's comics looking like this. And I remember being absolutely disturbed as a kid reading this. Yeah, it was proper frightening, it's but like really interesting and amazing. So Graham, um, the Collector Seventy Five, has made a custom of that. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, so he took a, I think it's um, a very old mid two thousands Terminator figure, an endoskeleton, and the uh, Impactor. I was going to say Power of the Primes figure. Uh, the Is that when it last came out? Siege. Siege. Yeah. Yeah, and he's he's spliced the two together. It's an incredible. Yeah, go back to Graham's channel and Ooh. check that out for okay. fans Me of too. Impactor or. Gruesome Transformers. If you're a big fan of gruesome <laughs> Transformers, <laughs> check that out. That. That's his niche. Yeah, oh, uh, that's a wicked choice, Paul. Can I go back to you uh, for one of yours? You won't know which one it is until I pick it up. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, bring him up. Let, let's play a game with it. This one. Oh, God. And this is like actual blood. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. So I've, I've never been the biggest Optimus Prime fan, and I've only read a handful of comics. Um, Again, this this is just really disturbing. What's attacking him? I can't make, it's make storm, it out. The storm, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's what? Sorry. It's from the G two comic. Uh, is it G two? It is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. The G two. It was G2. He gets what devoured by something called the swarm. You need to go back and read the comic. Oh, okay. Oh, so get okay. on the TF wiki and it'll give you a bit of info on it. It's easier to do that, and then yeah. Okay. It's disturbing though, isn't it? Yeah, but I think it's the eyes. Yeah. It's it's exactly the same. Look. It's been amputated. It's the eyes. It's the disintegration. It's just kind of. That's what my wife looks like pain. when she's forgotten her Tesco's club card. It just <laughs> starts <laughs> melting <laughs> on the floor of the aisle. And the adverts get bigger. Like, if you had a club card, you would only pay this much. And then light and then comes from out of eyes. Up, get me home. Get me home. Get me home. <laughs> get my club card. All oh, but she hasn't because two have been blown off. <laughs> this reminds me of a. Is it the Matrix Quest story or End of the Road when Optimus Prime? Do you say End of the Road? Yeah. Are you about to? I, I, I'm oh like, shit! You always the men time. Here. Always the men time. Oh, I thought you were going to put a picture of me. <laughs> Is this your new version of bird? Bird is the yeah, word. This is my version of human. <laughs> Did you say yeah, end of the word? Paul, it's going to work really well at Christmas time because boys demanded uh, uh, um, a Christmas song. Let it, snow, <laughs> the remix, is... let, let it snow. So I'm looking forward to hearing a bit of a Let It Snow at Christmas with boys demand. All right. Uh, right. I will go next. Unless um, Alexis or Andy, have you got anything prepared? 
Uh, no, because I wasn't. Rea uh, I didn't realize we had to prepare something for this. I thought we were just. Oh yeah. Just well, say, well, what I was going to say, I I was was gonna say was, was the. Um, this reminds me of it, at the end of the road, not the song, but Sorry, the, uh, yeah. the comic book issue where Optimus Prime flies into Unicron, Unicron's Moor with the Matrix, and that destroys Unicron, blows him off in the comics, and then they find Optimus Prime's body, what's left of him. Um, they discover it, and he's still being kept alive despite being horrifically torn apart and injured um, by a little bit of Matrix energy still in him, and he's there like <laughs> choking and stuff like that, and it's just oh, it's just horrible. For I kids. can still remember that one as well. Yeah, for kids, kids. and that's it, for kids. <laughs> it's for the kids. Oh, it's for the seven-year-olds. <laughs> I went a bit further on from that, which is um, obviously High Q at the, in that sort of same period. Um, is going a bit nuts, isn't he? Like, I am Optimus Prime, I am Optimus Prime, right? And eventually he then turns into Prime, but it's like, it reminds me of the, it reminds me of like Akira when Tetsuo, um, spoiler, turns a bit evil and then like go into, 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 into <laughs> It's not naughty. There, it's not it's, just bad and it's, it's, it's not just good and bad for um for Alexis. There's many subtle levels. <laughs> so it's it's like and obviously like you know so basically High Q is basically having his inner his inner mind ripped apart and then his body is turned into. Uh, well, he's cybernetic. merged with Optimus Prime, hasn't he? That's well, what that's he it. Well, no, but he has no he has no he has no choice, right? He just it just it just yeah. obviously like you know. He basically changes without wanting to. At least with like God Masters and Master Force, they have a you know, they can flick back and forth. Right? He just turns into a cybernetic organism and then just turns into Optimus Prime. And you know he is he is like it's like he's just going nuts, right? He just it's taking over his mind. And I know that's like everyone sees it as a good thing that Prime's back, but like fuck it, I like you. You know that's yeah, no, that's that's not a to Think back to uh, was it Time Wars when Shockwave? No, was it Shockwave? No, it's yeah. Shockwave uses Megatron to to kill uh, or try and kill Scourge and Cyclonus. And if you remember in the comic book, Cyclonus at this point is a target master. So his target master is 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 a little Nebulan partner. And Megatron grabs the gun, the target master. What's he called? Nightstick, I think his name was. Yeah. And just crushes it in his hand. And you forget at that for a moment that that's supposed to be an actual living creature in there, like a flesh and blood creature in, in a well, that's like, that's like That's like the girl in Akira that Tetsuo's banging, who, you know, just gets... Lexus, would you like oh, to sorry, talk about Akira? Spoiler, spoiler. spoiler. Sorry. For those who haven't seen Akira from 1989. Stop talking about it. <laughs> uh, right, so... Uh, I will go for one now. I will go for this. I remember seeing this. I think I rented it. Can we just get VHS shops, but not blockbusters? Does your hand syndrome all... shops? Sorry? Does your hand syndrome shops? Visual hand syndrome what? shops. Visual, visual hand syndrome? No, but proper VHS shops during the 90s where you'd go and they'd have like... The video shop? Yeah. The video shop. Like the video shop. I mean, bit of yeah, basically. Like, I didn't need to get into a debate about it, to be honest. It was just like literally <laughs> <insane>. <laughs> <laughs> The fucking shop. <laughs> Like, I mean, kind of ruined yeah, it Raven, now. Raven, Raven Studio. Like right Raven, those are the right local thing, independent right? video shops. Yeah, that's, uh, I, I sure oh, said. I'm sorry for not being clear. Do you remember those top porn? The black curtains on the front. You used to go get a dodgy video. Andy, do you want your go? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking uh, about blockbusters. I'm sorry, my mind's downloaded. I <laughs> definitely downloaded it. Uh, does someone want I, will, to go I remember the video subject? store that used to be uh, an independent one that we had in our town because we didn't have a black bu blockbuster originally. And I we remember going into that, and that was the first time I ever saw a. Um, I remember the first time I ever saw a porn parody video, and it was of uh, City Slickers, and it was called Titty oh, Slickers. Please, titty and I remember slickers. how genius I thought yeah. that was. <laughs> I remember how genius I thought <laughs> that was. Just Fifty Dickers. <laughs> anyway, sorry, it's sorry to lower the tone, but it just. There was, there, I, right. there was a there was, there was, I remember one. Yeah. There, was, there was one in the adult section. It wasn't yeah. the adult section. It was the eighteen section, but not like. No, I would, section, right. Honestly. It was called somebody the Big Bang. Movie, and it was, somebody it was put a that movie was, into the kids section when when it, well, that's how well, I saw this it. Is, you, drop, you drop it in, right? It was it was called Big Bang, and it was a cartoon, eighties cartoon for for adults. And you look on, you, know, you look on the back, and you have obviously the pictures are you know, there was one with a guy, the main hero, in a in a guillotine with a woman about to. But the, what was in the guillotine was his was his knob. <laughs> I was like, I was like, Dad, can we get this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I was like... <laughs> so what happens to discussion time when Jamie's not here. So the one I wanted to go for was, if you'd just seen Transformers yeah. the movie, and I've literally just seen it, 
on VHS probably. I got the difference. What? No, I can't remember. Anyway, I got back, and about a month or two later, it must have been quite a bit later. Um, this came out, and it's like my next bit of getting to see Optimus Prime. And it said, is Optimus Prime returning in the blurb? And it misleads you. Uh, and I'll play the clip from it. This fucking spooked me out as a kid. Not just the gruesome of it, but the build-up and the creep. And the fact that it it relates back to the Transformers that died in the movie. Mm -hmm. I'll play the clip. New way you go. Ironhide. Ratchet. Prowl. Huffer. Oh no! What's wrong? Scared the shit out of me as a kid. I, mean, I like the fact he pushes the button right, and then something doesn't work. Goes, oh, and he just, he just starts banging it with his instead of just pushing the same button and say, "Is it an on and off switch?" I'm not quite sure. But, I'm just and also, he just rubs against it. one button, and whole fucking transformer just falls out. Like that's not health and safety. Like, surely house. they're secured often, down. Often like, they, all of them are just leaning up against the door. Yeah, if you press the house. button and the door opens, they fall out. <laughs> I think when they put them in, they just around, shoved around. them in and quickly shut the door. Yeah, there you go. Quick shut it. <laughs> Dignified Dan, burial. Don't go in there. Don't right, go in there. Put a button Dan. outside that people can press and that release them. They'll fall out. But yeah, but that was scary when it yeah, found the Autobot yeah, graveyard the floating in, in space. Traps were like, they go, hey lads, this is my way, right? We'll put them against the door, right? And when someone pushes that button, it'll fall on them. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> if a transformer was electric. <laughs> Another good one. <laughs> Crazy. I've I'm got one now, one, Paul, because Optus Prime's covered in cobwebs, which are pretty scary. Anyway, yeah. When you're a kid. Space he's spiders. Like, he's all rusty. Yeah. He's coming apart, and he just the the lighting and the like when he opens the casket for is it Huffer or to, to some generic? Oh no, robot. some re generic robot. But yeah, it it, re it creaks and it like it's there's a couple of you know horror movie tropes. Yeah, like you know, dark again, when you're seven or eight like years old and you have a vivid imagination because your brother lets oh, you watch yeah. 18 movies with him, you're going <laughs> to get upset. Not the ones that I asked for, though. Yeah. <laughs> Teddy Slickers. Um, uh, Edward Winston Penis has made a good list. point. You know in, uh, you know, in uh, Transformers <laughs> the movie when we see the the Transformers, random generic Transformers being dropped into the vat of acid yeah. and we see them melting and that, screaming? Right? Yeah. Oh. And screaming. And the oh, art is so good, day, isn't it? For a discussion time. I do have one as That's well, yeah. uh, if I can share it, Paul. Yeah, yeah, cool. I mean, this is this is probably the darkest moment in Transformers history, yeah. if you ask me. Is it when Willy was introduced? That is oh no, not dark. that. That was that was probably the best moment <laughs> was, in Transformers that was history. Pretty dark. Your your uh, your second album was uh, <laughs> yeah, it was when he was introduced, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Pull me so hard. Yeah, I mean, it's just. I'm sorry, <laughs> so it just went wrong there. It went dark. so wrong. Uh, but no, Trans the Transformers Headmasters, it was Headmasters, wasn't it? Version of Wheelie, just mm. the dub version, just the worst thing I've ever watched on TV. And I've watched Strictly Come Dancing. I've seen, you know, so many things. I've seen <laughs> terrible, terrible things. Animal but fun. yeah, got to be Wheelie. I didn't, I didn't get, though, with Headmasters, like Prime died, Mag sorry, spoiler, Prime dies, Magnus <laughs> dies, but then like Blaster dies. And they were able to bring Blast back to life. It's like, this doesn't make... It's like, you're picking and choosing your mates here. It's like, oh, Magnus, that off fart. Fucking hell, that. He can fuck off. And like, oh, oh Blaster, he's, he's pretty cool. He does all the tunes. So we'll bring him back. It's like, yeah. they just pick and choose who they brought back, right? And it's like, oh. It's like Star Trek with like Picard getting turned into a Borg. Oh, we'll bring him back. But anyone else, they're like, no, we haven't got the time. Oh, you're to... too far gone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just just I, I have, oh, I have sorry. a I have at 4.30 today. I can't really do that. <laughs> Paul, do you want to show bit, my phone? I've got some more Yeah, my picture, yeah. Of uh, Silas. Silas. Transformers. Oh, Transformers Prime. Oh, not not Silas from Hollywood. Oh, so, yeah, you know, that was pretty messed up. So, Transformers Prime was pretty dark. Um, but that's pure body horror. Cool. That's, you know, 
Japanese Tetsuo, the Iron Man. He's he's all cut. He's moldy. It's a little bit he's, like when, when um, he, he's been turned guy, into he's turned himself into a robot. I think that's it's pretty a bit like when um, IDW no, made Headmasters out of Sunstreaker and that kid and that kid. You know, and they fused them, didn't they? Oh, all from Superman. She scared the shit out of me as a oh, kid. No, when... that, oh, yeah, oh, that's that's really I could not watch that scene where he turns into a robot. Yeah. Is that, that when the woman guy. gets dragged into the machine? Yeah. And it, yeah. yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, that was, that was just something about being forced into yeah, forced into metal robot submission. So, yeah. so hang on. So going back well to my done. one, which I said, which was I High Q being forced to become Optimus Prime when he was just going nuts, and it was like over time as well. Like he gets on ten people, no one listens to him. And over time, <laughs> he just eventually just. You know, got absorbed into him and became accepted of it, like like all those. Right, uh, now, uh, um, I've got some more. Sorry, Rudy, uh, this is one we all. Oh, uh, this is... Quick, 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 talk about them. Oh, we've done that one, so not that one. <laughs> this one. Oh yeah. Right in the face. <laughs> That's just like That's just, literally, yeah. there you go. literally bisecting Megatron. Lovely. But it's some of the like the artwork on the fa- like the just the. It's the eyes that you the, yeah. the artist is drawing it through the eyes. It's just Megatron's eyes, just pure. If these were human down. characters, it would never be allowed in 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 a kid's comic book. But because they're robots, everybody was trying. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's it's fine. Still deeply disturbing. You're you right. Know, there's something you, about the eyes, isn't it? You go to the local news agents. Your dad would get you know the news of the world, and you'd uh, twenty five p on the comic book. Twenty five p, thirty five p for a. Horror book <laughs> <laughs> for a lifetime of nightmares. <laughs> the same is with like <clears throat> about the same time I was reading Transformers comics. I I had some Action Force comics, and it's pr- I'm going to say it's the same artist. And some of the pictures in the Action Force book um, comic books are, are just as hardcore. Mm. That's why like, I got into through genetic, like, genetic stuff with. Um, Crave the, the blood and the, and the gore. Stuff they do, yeah, for kids. But they're, you're right. There's something about the eyes, and you can see it in the movie when Prowl dies, and his mm-hmm. eyes, because they don't yeah, have pupils. Smoke. You don't see where they're looking, and they just look out deftly. And when he dies, and also when um, it's on Look at Look at Mountain, yeah. Hot Rod grabs um, Daniel and jumps off with him. And you see it scrolls down. You can see uh, Daniel with all his like facial expressions. Then it shows Hot Rod like he's just still these blank, vacant eyes. Something really, really I disturbing about that. Hotty Rod. Uh, right, I've got. Have I got one more for you? Yes. There it is. The scene that scarred whatever a million children. Mm. He turns grey. Oh, I thought you were talking about oh, they really drove it home with the thing. They re- yeah, they really. And then I mean, the head, all cr- the head long, cracked and end, crumbly, just... and he's all bent to pieces on his his head, and then he turns to one side as. Because you you were hoping, oh, oh, weren't you, Rudy? You were hoping he was going to get better, and then he turned grey and his head falls. He turned grey. That's it. He did. He well did. He ain't coming back. Yeah. How can you convince kids that the hero is dead? I was more thinking, right? Obviously, Perceptor's there as a doctor, like doing the analysis, right? And everyone else is gathered on the right hand side. And Blur tries to walk over and go, fuck off, Blur, get on the other side, we don't like you. Uh, Ed's made a good point about Armada Prime, because uh, he kind of sacrifices himself as well, doesn't he? And uh, he turns grey, and they, all the Autobots think, oh my god, he survived this incredible, powerful blast. And then he very slowly turns grey and just literally disintegrates into nothing. It's quite it's quite harsh as well. I can understand why there was distraught at the time. When I watched it in, in the 80s, I, I wasn't bothered by it. I, as I said, I was never a big Optimus Prime fan. I was more excited about Cup, Hot Rod, and Blur to really think, oh, okay, Optimus Prime's dead. Yeah, I don't but remember crying about it. Rewatching it as an adult, I now see how awful so, it is seeing, the, seeing him so turn grey and lifeless. Because, you know, you, you experience death more as an adult, obviously, and then as a kid, the, you're, you don't. The first, um, the first like, Interaction my children had with Transformers was the movie because obviously I thought it's the you know the best I thought best graphics best, best storyline showed me it and they went Daddy are they all dying <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah shit for about that and then he's watching Ice Age the, the middle child's big fan of Ice Age but he's never seen the first one and he's just <clears> watched the first well, he watched like four, all of them but the first one just watched the first one and he's now, he's now upset because there's a bit where 
one of the, one of the characters, spoiler for Ice Age one viewers, one of the characters then he dies, but he doesn't quite die, and he comes back. But you don't know that. So he's actually got himself in a bit of a state now watching that because and I was like, hang on, I watched we watched Transformers three years ago. There's a lot of death in that. Oh, that explains why it's not Transformers. Okay. But so you, you are completely spot on, Rudy. Thanks. And he's checking his correspondence there. Look at his logo. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I got a work email. I just had to check it and, wasn't uh, anything too important. And then Paul that's all that. Working out. Paul is working right. out. What let's the... move on then. Hello. So there were some good horror shows. Uh, let's move to four plane. Oh, and... no, oh no, this? before we do that, someone messaged me in the private chat. <laughs> <laughs> Privately. Privately in the private chat. Um, I How much I just... do they want in the end? For 499 for your engine? Your MOT? <laughs> that guy. <laughs> Yeah, all tires done. Brake all tire, pads, all ra radials, obviously. mate. Radials. You've got to do brake pads. They're perishables, aren't they? They change the oil for free. Yeah. You know, there, there's, there's, the, there's a size difference between a, a, a shots cons. Um, difference with this guy is he does that. The backpack doesn't come off. It's just attached. So, the thing is, it depends on cost and how whether they've got to get it up on the ramp, doesn't it? That's it. Yeah. That's actually doesn't it. And then if you want a masterpiece cup to go with him. But they don't so, recharge for the MIT. Once they've charged that right, four right. pounds, it's yeah. failed. And, Andy, would you? You're a scale. You're a scale. You're a scale junkie like I'm me. A, would you say a what? A scale junkie, like me. Would you say it's the right size for a an MP shot to go in the cup? Um, you're yes. right. I, you're right. I yes. mean, we should transform it into uh, shot gun mode, and then we'll make a comparison. Yes, transform into shot gun mode. So on on yeah. camera. Oh, on the camera. Okay, let's do that on camera. There you go. So. Um, they fold over. That folds over. That goes like that first, and then they fold over. So same transformation, apart from the hood. His backpack doesn't detach. Um, I haven't got the fin. His hood. I haven't got his fin. There's a fin which goes on top, like like in the uh, what's it called mode. The other one. I haven't got that out of the box yet. Yeah. And the, uh, it's still got the same um, gappage, by the way, just to make you aware that the chug one suffers with as well. So everyone's wondering, do they feel the How gappage? How much do you trust for these um, oversized ones? Are they cheaper? More expensive? Uh, I think they're 70 bucks for free. So that's about six, so about 20 pounds each. So it works out about the same as the chug ones? Roughly the same, right? So, But if anyone's wanting the chug ones, I'll be selling a few of mine now. <laughs> so, and here's Alexis's yeah. selling corner. <laughs> and it's it's eBay weekend this weekend, so I need to put the things online. So there he is in uh, shark mode. If you want to see Cup punch a shark to con, is it a shark? It's a shark to con. <laughs> is it inspired by a shark or is it inspired by a piranha with legs? Just saying. I That's always wondered why it was called a shark when it problem, looks yeah. nothing like a shark. If you want to, see a sh if you want to say punch a shark, I have a theory on this. There we go. So that's, I'd be that's, interested that's... to hear that theory, Rudy. There we go. So that's I him, think face up against shark. They'd and already painted the same way. Spoken to the eyes about so piranha body and how and they were going to bring it over articulate as well. The West, and then you can... so they couldn't call the shark cons piranha cons. Even though they were uh, bananas. because short cons, the other ones look like crocodiles. Yeah, and these look like piranhas. There is no shark involved. I wonder if that's true because the, yeah, you would think the piranha con, uh, the piranha con rather, or the sea cons, mm -hmm. that they they probably were they one of the moles that Takara had in reserve that they'd not and used probably yet? yeah they probably existed whilst Transformers the movie was being written. Well, and Hasbro were going through all, all that shit trying and, to find. Yeah, it. Hasbro were trawling every like toy fair, yeah, to get toys because they don't. Back then, they didn't really make their own Transformers. Not until the movie came along. True that. Right. So there we go. That's. <laughs> <laughs> get, there's my nugget. Ethel, or... she's in the chat. Right, let's yeah. do uh, for Blair. <laughs> Lynn, these are sex people. What do you mean? They're sex swappers. Lynn, this is DEFCON 1. Look. Look. Uh. Don't make the same noise as them. <laughs> Don't think you want to join in. So, full play this week is how many times you've made the girl squirt. Alexis? <laughs> 
in one go <laughs> or over multiple occasions? What was the... It's not really. So the answer is never it. then. Well done. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Four play was uh, your most insane transform with the most insane paint job, and I'm quite excited about this. So, a transformer you own has oh, got an dear. absolutely insane mental paint job. Um, who would like to kick us off? I, I don't mind going first because I, I can't go, 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 go. So, I'm gonna go for uh, Beast Wars Megatron because Is look that's at that. wild. <laughs> oh, look, look at that paint. oh no, this is wild. I think he, I think he means I think he thinks Wait it there. means really good paint job as opposed to. Oh, so that exactly. is sound. That is different to vision. <laughs> That's got nothing. So, so I thought I thought that I've got wow, the knockoff version here. I thought if I why well, if I show him to show his amazing paint job, I could show the um, which is awesome. I could sh I could take the batteries out of this one, put it into the um, knockoff, and see if we get English. Because this one, if you hold it down, is meant to go to English. And you hold it down. And then you press it. Try <laughs> <laughs> again. <laughs> all right, try again. I've always wanted to star in, it'll be all right on the night. <laughs> Yeah, just like, just like, I... You have no luck with anything electronic in a transformer on where online. Every no time Robocop, the topic is your ever. favorite uh transformer. Okay. Well the, with the most That's zanious fine. paint job. Um Alexa's got the most zanious jobs, vocals. Wild, wild oh, yeah, paint that, jobs. Look at that paint. That's paint. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, that is. You're right, I'll give it to you. I was kidding it like earlier. It's it's in one hell of a paint job on that toy. So that's my favourite that's my favourite paint job. Of, uh, and the sort of wild paint job, or you know, beautiful paint job, whatever you call it, that's all the categories that we talked about. I mean, they're two completely different things, but yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, that was fun. That was that's it. That was, yeah, we should have Alexis on more often. He's funny, isn't he? <laughs> he's he right. is. He's, right. he's good, isn't he? He's... Whenever I you're not on, Rudy, we'll let Alexis come. I encourage him. <laughs> Thanks. So You're shall I go? Team, right? <laughs> oh, sorry, I was downloading something. <laughs> yeah, it's good. You and that porn hole. So yeah. I have gone for Detritus, wow. the hound repaint, because it's inspired. So he's an e hobby toy with a rewritten bio as a junkie on. So they've given him a dirty, um, dirty, dirty paint job. Bastard. But the subtleties are that it's actually it's airbrushed. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, so random. Um, my camera probably won't pick it up because I'm on my computer as opposed to my phone. But yeah, across the wheel arches. Is that actually a repainted G1 hound? That is a G1 hound. Wow, it looks so different in those colours. Mm -hmm. It's like I think it's absolutely incredible. Yeah. Um, not exactly wild, but a break. It's amazing a break what a good from the norm. Can do for a it's a shame now. that like you can kind of get it on the wheel arches, but yeah, all that's airbrushed round. Around here. Right. <laughs> you <laughs> That's all airbrushed. That's, that's right really there. tickling. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Carry on, Rudy. Sorry. <laughs> that's really yeah, nice. I've never seen that before. Is that G2? So it's um, e hobby. Ah. So right. it came out mid 2000s. Wow. Mackie Toys it almost made a masterpiece yeah. version of it. But it didn't get like funded. They they did this poll to see what characters would get made, and it was on there. It was on. I think when you bought G two Jazz, they yep. they shuddered they shuddered out. What was that G two Jazz called? Jazz. <laughs> what was Jazz called? Oh, Jazz. Um, <laughs> you had Ricochet, which was <laughs> yeah. But what was their the version? Because surely they would use the proper name. The, uh, They're not allowed to use the proper name because that's oh, when they Jizz. It was called Jizz. No, it wasn't. Stop it. <laughs> Stop. But yes, back then, back in 2018, uh, I think they did a poll to do... Downbeat is what's poll. being said in the... Nope, somebody else has said Meister. Meister. So, and a downbeat on Meister. But they did a G2 so. version of it. Did they? Yes. Downbeat, oh, downbeat's oh, the... Uh, Alexis, Alexis version. has got his headgear on again. I got to go uh, deep on the uh, screw. <laughs> Wow. He makes it too easy. 
I'd watch a show just you. <laughs> just, yeah. just, he's, comedy he's, things that Alexis does. When he goes full on, oh. full on a partridge. <laughs> he's got full partridge on. Just, uh, oh, I got the wrong <laughs> screwdriver. Silly me. Oh. That was good. Really, thank you so much. Oh. Uh, I'll go next. <clears throat> need, a, need, a, need a baby screw. Uh, so I went for my favourite, favourite, crazy, crazy paint job. Is uh, well, I know she, she's wing blade. So wing oh, blade, but see through wing blade. So uh, she's pink uh, because it's she's a girl. translucent plastic, isn't she? It is absolutely. Wow. It's crazy. It's insane, and it doesn't really. You can't really see it on camera. Uh, the sword's even weirder. She looks like um, a woodland fairy sprite. She does, which is exactly what I'm into. <laughs> Okay. Where would you get that from, Paul? Uh, I got this well, from um, a seller in uh, Japan. I remember you buying that. I remember when you got, showed it off. Got Alexis Kaniji. All over it. <laughs> uh, it turns <laughs> out it's one of the rarest transformers you can get. Yeah. Yep. It's really hard to get. I keep saying to Alexis, I'm going to sell it because Alexis got it for me for like sixty quid. And uh, one day I will, when the price reaches the right. Level, she will fly from this nest. Do you have driving gloves, Alexis? Unicron. Do you have leather driving gloves, Alexis? No, I have a heated steering wheel. Did they give you a little bit of purchase? No, what's I, I've I got a heated steering wheel. wheel. <laughs> <laughs> what a flex! Nope, I've got a heated steering wheel. <laughs> okay. And cup holders. Dentists. Oh, I think you'll find that all oh, Passats come with a heated steering wheel. <laughs> And my in the interior smells like rich mahogany. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about my car. <laughs> uh, just his anus, right? Andy, <laughs> right? I, I'm gonna give. Uh, I'm gonna give two because I'm being rogue. So screw it. So uh, Ooh, I'm gonna go Alexis. with. I'm going not full Alexis, but I'm going partial Alexis. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Rotorstorm. Oh, because yeah, the colours on Rotostorm are just beautiful. I have the original G1 Rotostorm as well, but mine's incomplete, so I went with the uh, newer um, Select. I think it was a Select figure, wasn't it? Just the colours, just awesome. Um, Good pose. You've posed that really well. Well, I put it in a pose, which is more than I do with no, most like bots, which are just a good, generic dynamic. pose, but it's like, you know, you've, you've got to do... With these That's colours, a pew-pew I mean, pose, everything. that is. That's a pew-pew-pew-pew pose. It's a pew I would pose. say this. I've seen a lot of people since this figure came out, like trying to get hold of uh, of it because it is a, a thing of beauty. And if you do have one, really? you know what I'm talking about. I've got it. Oh, I fucking bummed it off. I'm not sure yeah. <laughs> I love the fact that you <laughs> use that phrase. <laughs> Paul used the phrase in the chat yeah. earlier, not in the chat, sorry, in uh, on Facebook earlier on about how everybody was bumming off the trailer. And uh, Paul Sam Shut thought that, that was a negative thing. <laughs> he was like, I don't know. I think oh, it's no. a positive and thing. I thought it was good. And Paul was having to say, no, no, bumming is great. <laughs> <laughs> you bump something off, it's good. I feel like right, anyway. you bunch of massive homophobes. Right, exactly. It's fine to bum. Exactly, we all love to bum. And then uh, Rotor Storm is great, but I've got to go with um, original the Constructicons. I mean, like to see construction figures or, or vehicles as they were back in like the 80s, that were these ridiculous bright green, neon green kind of colours was just, it really helped make them stand out. And I know, I think, was the original colour supposed to be the yellow that we ended up getting in, um, was it G2? We ended up getting the yellow Constructicons that actually couldn't combine, which was bizarre. Well, I take away the combining feature. I guess it was just to save money. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go with um, the Constructicons. Represented yeah, here. No by construction vehicle is ever that colour in real life. Not that bright green. Although I'm sure somebody posted a picture once a while back of somewhere in a, like in the middle of nowhere in some offbeat friggin' woodland area, and somebody actually had had bought an old whatever the, this type of you know digger is, and had painted it in these colours, and it was just yeah, sat up on the, the roadside, and it was just like that is. Well, it is one of the greatest. I would do a pilgrimage just to go and see that thing and have a photo taken next to it. I wish America um, would do with their so the like F-14s, like one blue, one red, one black for Skywalk, one's Thundercracker. Well, strictly speaking, they colors. were F-15s. But yes, you're right. Um... <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> but it's true. Um, I'd love to see that. We had some F-15s. <laughs> we had some F-15s fly over our house because they do... Uh... 
the US Air Force was maneuvers around this sometimes. And uh, I, I said to my son, <laughs> well, it would be great if they're in the same colours as Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp. And he went, who? <laughs> anyway, there you go. And then a little tear rolled down your face. Uh, right, if you want to head to Transformers, the show, uh, you get invited into all the shows uh <laughs> Instantly, right again, even after thing. this, you <laughs> still want to come and watch this. You might not want to do it now. It might be like, it's actually. working now. Watch in English, right? Make if you want to voice. see more of Alexis's antics, <laughs> hey. Hey. and all it took was a screwdriver and 25 minutes. This is boring. <laughs> I'm just an impression of the eyeball. Chemical Brothers DJing. <laughs> <laughs> It is. It's a bit like a live chemical brothers set, isn't it? <laughs> Just that. Uh, let's all look at Alexis's massive eyeballs. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of those Snapchat filters the kids use. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Can you just wear that all day at TFN or wherever at TFUK car? Because with your driving that's gloves. Great. That's right, a good Rudy, you can choose what we play out to tonight. So your choices for tonight are for the final Ace song. Punk in the meantime, oh, no. you've got Pearl Jam, uh, you've got Red Dwarf, Bonnie Tyler, or Subways, the original song. Wait, wait, pull, pull, pull. Ask me for Bonnie Tyler again. Sorry, I kept talking. Uh, you've got <laughs> Pearl Jam, Bonnie Tyler, Subways, uh, or Red Dwarf theme song. What are you feeling, Rudy? You could go Subways, unless you wanted to play your uh, the intro that I made. Uh, I could do both. I could play the intro. I've got it here, oh, and you can choose a song. The intro, play the intro I, I don't want Alexis. Um, you, you send that and a bitmap <laughs> file, and nothing recognises bitmap, because that's what you use on paint. <laughs> <laughs> There's a diss <laughs> just destroyed you live on YouTube. <laughs> right, so uh, I'll do your grain chill whilst you decide. Right. <laughs> So I, love, I love how much li uh, I love how much in so the, what, that last photo of Alexis he's sucking it in. <laughs> Breathe in. There we go. <laughs> Alright, now play my intro. Oh, there's acoustic version of Take On Me as well. Subways, Ooh, acoustic nice. version of Take On Me. Uh, oh, you've hit the nail on the head there. I need my Norway magic. Alright, over to you. It's <laughs> beautiful. Talking away oh, I don't know what I'm to say I'll say it anyway Today is another day To find you Shying away I'll be coming for your love Okay and Take on Okay, and say after me, 
It's no better to be safe than sorry and I take on you say is it life or just to play my worries away you're all the things I've got to remember you're shying away I'll be coming for you anyway take on Ah, so oh, no way. Denmark. <laughs> anyway, any of the Scandinavian <laughs> Scandinavia. Could have been general. Finland for you know. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nordic. Uh, right, that is it for the show. So please head to Transformers the Show on Facebook. Check us out there. TFUK. Uh, I might just leave Alexis on for a bit, just live. What's he looking at now? Uh... You look like a shit yeah. dentist. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love you. Bye. <laughs>